Moving on up. Dram Girl on the outside with Torty and Graw. Racing on towards the final furlong now. And in the centre of the track, moving on up on the far side is Social Climber. These two in front of Rest Assured. Morning, tomorrow morning, making ground the outside. Moving on up the leader now, pressed by Lily's Rainbow. Coming with a strong run the near side. And running up towards the finish. Lily's Rainbow in the shadows of the post for Wayne Lorden will just catch... Social Climber now kicks off the bend and just leads from rest assured in the centre and then moving on up. Dram Girl on the outside with Torty and Graw. Racing on towards the final furlong now and in the centre of the track moving on up on the far side is Social Climber. These two in front of rest assured. Morning, tomorrow morning making ground the outside. Moving on up the leader now pressed by Lily's Rainbow coming with a strong run the near side and running up towards the finish. Lily's Rainbow in the shadows of the post for Wayne Lorden will just catch, moving on up in second and third place, Social Climber with tomorrow morning in fourth. Ellis, so sensible is next. They're being followed by the Dancing Lord in the centre of the track. They're racing on now towards the final furling and a half and Togaville is kicked for home. Chased now by the Dancing Lord on the outside of So Sensible and then Havelock Ellis over on the far side. Togaville in front from the Dancing Lord and on the far side Havelock Ellis racing inside the last 150 and the Dancing Lord and Robbie Downey on the near side. Togaville battling back for Gary Carroll. They hit the line! The Dancing Lord and Togaville put it up to the judge. Have a look, Ellis, so sense. And in the lead is political policy from the great Togaville. Have a look, Ellis, so sensible is next. They're being followed by the Dancing Lord in the centre of the track. They're racing on now towards the final furling and a half and Togaville is kicked for home. Chased now by the Dancing Lord on the outside of So Sensible and then Havelock Ellis over on the far side. Togaville in front from the Dancing Lord and on the far side Havelock Ellis racing inside the last 150 and the Dancing Lord and Robbie Downey on the near side. Togaville battling back for Gary Carroll. They hit the line! The Dancing Lord and Togaville put it up to the judge. Havelock Ellis, so sensible, and Rose Angel on their heels. Straight now and crossing Oz from Emperor Bob on the near side. They're being followed over on the far side by Zorba the Greek, Park Rebel against the rail. They're followed by Arab and Alcatraz up the center of the track. Emperor Bob hits the front now from Zorba the Greek. Arab putting in a run, Park Rebel right over against the rail. Alcatraz the outside. Emperor Bob in front as they go towards the line. And Emperor Bob and Connor King will hold off Arab. Alcatraz is third, Zorba the Greek fourth. And they're followed in fifth place by Park Rebel followed by Niles Rory and Maya Koba. Well in the straight now and crossing Oz from Emperor Bob on the near side. They're being followed over on the far side by Zorba the Greek, Park Rebel against the rail. They're followed by Arab and Alcatraz up the center of the track. Emperor Bob hits the front now from Zorba the Greek. Arab putting in a run, Park Rebel right over against the rail. Alcatraz the outside. Emperor Bob in front as they go towards the line. And Emperor Bob and Connor King will hold off Arab. Alcatraz is third, Zorba the Greek fourth. And they're followed in fifth place by Park. The far side is Grey Danube, and they're being followed by Jamboree Girl. Towards the outside is Harry Trotter, and then comes Fastidious. And on the far side, your pal Tell now pressed by Grey Danube against the rail. They're a couple of lengths clear of staying on behind them, Jamboree Girl. Inside the last 150, and Grey Danube on the inside begins to gain the upper hand, running up to the finish. And Grey Danube will beat off your pal Tell, the judge for third. Sassaway on the inside of Jamboree Girl, and they're well clear of Chili Billy. Off the turn now for home, and your pal Tell in the lead from Chili Billy. Over on the far side is Grey Danube, and they're being followed by Jamboree Girl. 
Towards the outside is Harry Trotter, and then comes Fastidious. Now on the far side, your pal Tell, now pressed by Grey Danube against the rail. There are a couple of lengths clear of staying on behind them, Jamboree Girl. Inside the last 150, and Grey Danube on the inside begins to gain the upper hand, running up to the finish. And Grey Danube will beat off your pal Tell, the judge for third. Sassaway on the inside of Jamboree Girl, and they're well clear of Chili Billy. Steins and on the far side, Miss Mitigate, Rising Euro. They're being followed in the center of the track by Muck and Browse, who's coming there. On the outside of them is Manoroff, who's picking up, and then Sister Slough. But it's Muck and Browse who's in the lead now from Manoroff, putting down the challenge. They're being chased by Victor's Beach as they run up towards the finish. It's Manoroff and Colin Keane who get the better of Muck and Browse and running up towards the finish. Manoroff will win by a couple of legs for Colin Keane. Second home, Muck and Brass Victor's Beach is third, and fourth home is Sister Slew. On the bend and straighten up for home. Dane Quest is the leader, being pressed by Steins, and on the far side, Miss Mitigate, Rising Euro. They're being followed in the center of the track by Muck and Brass, who's coming there. On the outside of them is Manoroff, who's picking up, and then Sister Slew. But it's Muck and Brass who's in the lead now from Manoroff, putting down the challenge. They're being chased by Victor's Beach as they run up towards the finish. It's Manoroff and Colin Keane who get the better of Muck and Brass, and running up towards the finish, Manoroff will win by a couple of legs for Colin Keane. Second home, Muck and Brass, Victor's Beach is third, and fourth home is Sister Slough. Manuka, catchy last going for a run up the inside on the outside Sharjah racing now towards the final furlong Ned's Indian with Moonmeister on the near side catchy last over on the rail they're followed by Sharjah Moonmeister is the leader from catchy last Ned's Indian racing up towards the final 50 yards and Moonmeister and Pat Smullen he's going to complete the hat trick beats catchy last into second Ned's Indian close for fourth Sharjah followed by Paddy the Celeb and Manuka just in behind. They're being followed by High Network, so they straighten up for home. Bally Adam broke just heads way down south. Ned's Indian, then Moonmeister Manuka. Catchy Lass going for a run up the inside. On the outside, Sharjah racing now towards the final furlong. Ned's Indian with Moonmeister on the near side. Catchy Lass over on the rail. They're followed by Sharjah. Moonmeister is the leader from Catchy Lass. Ned's Indian racing up towards the final 50 yards. And Moonmeister and Pat Smullen, he's going to complete the hat trick. Beats Catchy Lass into second. Ned's Indian close for fourth. Sharjah followed by Paddy the Celeb and Manuka just in behind. Two, and Jardago comes to challenge Mr. Bossman. Viaduct Joey be seeing you down the outside. Black Label making ground over on the far side. Racing now towards the final furlong. And it's Viaduct Joey, Black Label over on the far side. And be seeing you as they race up towards the final 150 yards. Black Label and Viaduct Joey in front of be seeing you. Running towards the finish. It's Black Label. And Black Label and Colin Keane will complete a double in a fine season. You and Black Label just in behind them racing now towards the two and Jardago comes to challenge Mr. Bossman Viaduct Joey be seeing you down the outside Black Label making ground over on the far side racing now towards the final furlong and it's Viaduct Joey Black Label over on the far side and be seeing you as they race up towards the final 150 yards Black Label and Viaduct Joey in front of be seeing you running towards the finish it's Black Label and Black Label and Colin Keane will complete a double in a fine season and beats Viaduct Joey, close for third, be seeing you and Jodago and Mr. Bossman. So the Dundalk Championship is a tie between Shane Foley and Joseph O'Brien.